Hey there, seekers of style, knowledge, and all that good stuff. Joe here from Style by Joe with What's in Joe's Mouth. Now today, I'm not actually eating anything. I'm going to be going over the top 10 food trends for 2021. Just like clothing or hair or jewelry. Trends in foods come and go. Some of these are brand new. Some of these are pandemic inspired and some of them have been around for a while that are just gaining more popularity. And the first one that they talked about was cooking oils for the home cooks. They're talking about two specifically right now. One is walnut oil, which I've seen around since maybe the mid eighties. I haven't used it a lot, but the health benefits of that are great. The other one that they talked about, which to me is a new one that I haven't heard of is pumpkin seed oil. Again, they were listing all of the health benefits for that, which seem to be pretty gosh darn amazing. They're also saying that olive oils are going to make a resurgence for the home cooks. Um, it's going to be a better quality that we've seen lately. Number two, follow me on this one, upcycled foods. Foods that normally, or food products that normally would have ended up in an incinerator or in a landfill are being repurposed for other food types. Now, none of these are bad or rancid. It's just some byproducts that we don't normally use they're trying to incorporate which is going to be greener and less waste which is better for the environment number three not surprised at this haven't seen it yet but i'm not surprised hard kombucha now everybody has talked about how great kombucha is for it people love the flavor of it the slight fizziness not surprised that they are making a alcoholic based kombucha. I mean, you're going to get the health benefits and the alcohol. That's a win-win. Number four, this has really taken off since the pandemic. They are looking to vastly improve and increase the amount of plant-based meat products. I mean, they were mentioning fish, chicken, steaks, they're looking to make more sustainable food. Again, it's better for the environment. And honestly, it's better for your bodies. We haven't been designed to ingest so much meat. Number five, and I am completely separating this from what I just talked about. They are saying that plant-based jerkies are going to be huge this year. Uh, they specifically talked about jackfruit jerky and mushroom jerkies and the different flavors that they're going to be able to incorporate into that are incredible number six again this has been around since the 80s boxed wines now in the 80s it was cheap it was inexpensive they were thought of a lesser grade the pandemic more and more winemakers are making box. It takes up less room in your refrigerator. There's less bottles because it's a higher uh, volume normally of alcohol and well, why not? Number seven, ghost kitchens or a pop-up kitchen. This has been big with food delivery services because they can prepare more than one kind of food. It takes less space there's less income for, or I'm sorry, there's less outputting of money because of the rent that you don't need. And actually you need less insurance of that. So look for these ghosts or uh, pop-up kitchens, not restaurants, kitchens, which delivery services are going to be using. Number eight, gained huge popularity in 2020 with the pandemic, are box food kits. I mean, I, I, celebrity chefs are doing it. Restaurants are doing it. There are companies that just solely do it. It's going to be a big thing. And I don't think that's going to go away after uh, the pandemic is over. I mean, you, you get the food that you need because you know the number of people you have. There's less waste. There's less byproducts. It's definitely more cost efficient as a whole. 
Number nine, huge this year are gut healthy foods. They're not going away. People are doing more research on how much your gut, the bacteria in the gut, controls your whole system. I see that just getting further and further into a deeper business. And number 10, locally sourced, bright colors, vibrant flavors. I'm grouping that all into one because it seems to be what people are looking for. Again, after the pandemic, People are going to want food that's exciting to eat, that's exciting to look at, that's exciting to smell. They're going to want things that remind them of the citrus, which is healthy for them, and things like that. Hey folks, this has been Joe from Style by Joe with What's in Joe's Mouth. Today I went over 10 of what I see to be the biggest food trends for 2021. Style by Joe by now, of course, is the YouTube channel that you have subscribed to, right? All my social media is listed below. If you follow me on one, you should probably follow me on another. Thumbs up are great. YouTube actually tracks me with that. It makes me seem like more of a viable business. Sharing these videos with your friends and family are great because I get in front of other eyes. Folks, stay stylish. I'll talk to you soon.